Hello legends. In this video, I'm gonna show you an AI pipeline that you can use to build websites that have beautiful design and UI. So a very quick example of what we're gonna be doing in this video is I'm across in Google Stitch, which is Google's free AI design tool. And I haven't done any app ideation or anything, but this is just to show you that I went from a plain text prompt where I wanna create an Italian food delivery app to actually getting the design for a homepage. Now, the cool thing about this is if I click anywhere on the canvas, I get the ability to actually copy the design across to Figma, where Figma is a collaborative design tool where you can actually paste your design to get super granular control over the different design systems of your website or your app. So the fonts, the colorings, the sizes of the buttons, the styles of the layout. So for example, we can actually just paste in our design from Google Stitch and we can actually click on and interact with the different frames of this design directly from Google. Or if we go back to Google Stitch, we can just click on this code button and copy the actual design code and then go across to my favorite AI coding tool, which is Replit, where we will then paste in the code for each and every single page of our website and then interact with the Replit agent to actually stitch all those pages together to make sure that as we click the different menu buttons, we actually go to different pages of our website. And then we can perform some finishing touches on our app here. For example, like adding a hover effect as we drag our mouse across the screen. Now, in case you're wondering why we're not using a tool like Lovable to actually build out our website or app, and that's because Lovable is geared towards speed. It's excellent at testing out your ideas by pushing out MVPs. But when it comes to building out successful websites and apps, you actually need to optimize your website to completing its certain goal. So for example, if you have a food delivery app, you actually have to gear it towards being super easy to actually click the food, add it to cart, and then make some other recommendations when the user is in the cart. Or if your app is trying to sell some software, then you actually have to gear the page towards optimizing for conversion. And you just can't get that kind of control with a tool like Lovable. So our AI pipeline starts by ideating in ChatGPT about what app we want to build. So we give ChatGPT a project brief, which includes the app, who it's for and what it does. And then we ask it to create a sitemap showing all the primary pages and the hierarchy and explaining how everything is interconnected. So in this video, we actually want to build a travel discovery app called Wandermind that is built for curious travelers seeking inspiration. The USP of this app is that it has AI powered recommendations. So basically it has some LLM element that will pick up all of your preferences and then give you personalized destination suggestions. So we want ChatGPT to help us build out the sitemap, which is basically the collection of pages and then show us all the main pages, their hierarchy and how they're all interconnected. And here is our sitemap for the Wondermind travel app. So exploring the pages, we have the about page, a how it works page, We've got two different ways to actually interact with the app. So we've got a manual explore destinations page where we can just select different filters and find our destinations, or we can chat with the Wondermind AI and have a conversation with an LLM and get personalized recommendations. Then we have a bunch of other sub pages here, for example, planning our trip, a community page and a settings page. So this is everything that we'll need to actually build out our entire app. So I'm super happy with that. And now the next thing I wanna do is actually get ChatGPT to help me start designing the core design of this page. So I'm gonna ask it to create a static image of the homepage layout, and I'm giving it a reference of what kind of dimensions I need for that image. So actually ChatGPT did a pretty good job over here. We've got a nice logo in the top left corner. We've got our header menu item. So about how it works and explore destinations. I really like this hero image and this blue button. And I kind of like that we have all these key sections over here. Now, the purpose of this section is to try and iterate until you find a nice design that you like. Now, an important note here is that ChatGPT is very good at creating stunning visuals. So what we see here is a homepage. And instead of us just necessarily taking this homepage and then going across to UX Pilot to start building out our actual core design, it's important for us to actually optimize the page for our key task. So maybe we want to make it a little bit easier for users to navigate. Maybe we want to be very salesy and help conversion in our app. So depending on what the purpose of your app is, you would actually go to a tool like Mobin and explore really successful apps or websites and their screens, their UI elements, their flows, so that you're not just relying on a chat GPT design, but now you're building out a highly optimized website that is fit for purpose. All right, so now we want to get chat GPT to give us a description of the style of the homepage in plain text so that we can replicate this for a design system. Okay, awesome, so here is the style of the Wondermind homepage. We've got typography, color palette, layout, visual style, imagery, and interactive elements. So let's just copy all of this, click on new design file. Let's call this Wondermind, and then paste in our page context. Now let's click create. Now once we're inside our canvas, I'm gonna to stick to high fidelity designs. I'm gonna leave the default settings here. 
For screen type, I'm gonna leave it on desktop because I wanna make this a website. And this is where we're gonna be prompting up to actually create our app. So some cool things to know are that we can actually take that image from ChatGPT of our homepage and any other pages that we generated and put them into here for context. And then over here we have the flow control which lets us add different pages into our app. So let's get ChatGPT to write that prompt for us. I'm just saying, hey, can you write a prompt for UX Pilot to help me design the app? And for now, I wanna keep things simple. I just wanna create three pages, the home page, explore destinations, and chat with Wondermind. So just to refresh from our site map, the explore destinations and the chat with Wondermind were the two ways that our user can actually interact with this app to find different destinations. Let's hit enter. And there we go, we have our prompt, which explains that we want three pages for now, the general style of the app, the home page, explore, and the chat with Wondermind page. Let's copy all of this, paste it into the context. And now let's hit auto flow so the AI can decide which pages we need for our app. And there we go. So we have the main home page. We then have a page for discovering travel destinations. And then we have a AI chat interface for users to interact with the Wondermind AI. Now let's hit generate and create our app. There we go, we're generating the three pages. And there we go. We've got a beautiful consistent design created for us for our Wondermind travel app. So exploring the home page, this looks pretty similar to ChatGPT. We've got our USPs over here. So explore by theme, mood, trending, and gallery. And then we have a quick button over here to start chatting with our AI assistant. So this is the manual search where you can just filter out your preferences and you're shown different destinations. And this is our AI chat page, which is actually linked from the home page via that button we just saw. And we have different historical chats here. We can create a new chat. And this is, actually looks beautiful. This really, really looks super, super nice. Now the cool thing with UX Pilot is that you can continue to make edits to this design. So just to explore some of these options up here, we can actually view the source code, which we can copy across to Replit and then start deploying our app. We then have the ability to make changes to the actual design. So if I click on this section edit, I can highlight a certain section that I want to edit. For example, I can click on this top header here for the chat and I can use AI to make some edit. For example, I just wanna make this text pop a little bit more. I'm gonna hit generate. All right, so there we go. I think we just changed the color of that, but you get the idea. We then have the ability to actually preview this page or the entire app. So actually now I can get a feel for how the app would look and feel. I can click on all design and I can flick through the different pages that we have. There we go, this is the manual exploration page. Well, Bali looks beautiful. And then I can save this file so I can access it in Figma later on where you would just download the Figma plugin, where you would go to a brand new Figma canvas, you would pull up the plugin, paste the design here so that you can then collaborate with your entire team. Now, what we wanna do is actually start taking this design and look at how to deploy it. So I wanna go across to this view source code. I'm gonna copy this entire code for the homepage. And now let's go across to Replit. Let's click on create app. Let's choose template. And let's go down to HTML, CSS and JavaScript and then go on create app. And now we have the template for our HTML app. So on the left hand side, if I just pop this open, we can see that we've just got a very basic setup, an index, a script, and a style.css page. Uh, it doesn't really contain anything, so all these pages are pretty much just blank. Um, the index.html is just gonna deliver us a static page, which is just gonna say hello world in the top left corner. So now what we wanna do is actually go across and start copying this code across. So I have the homepage code copied to my clipboard. I'm just gonna paste it in. And now if I go back into preview and just refresh this, and there we go, I've copied the homepage directly across to Replit. So this is pretty cool because it already maintains some of the um, design elements like the hover when I'm going with my mouse over it or the change of color. So this is actually really, really neat. So now let's go across and get the source code for the Explore Destinations page. Let's open up the code, let's copy this, and I'm gonna go and create a new HTML page. I'm just gonna say new file. I'm gonna call it explore.html. Let's hit enter, and let's paste in the code. And now I'm gonna prompt up the Replit Assistant, which is using Claude for Sonnet. I'm just gonna say, hey, when I click the Explore button in the nav bar, can you please make it route to the explore.html page? And this is that button over here. So let's hit enter. And now the AI assistant has made the necessary edits so that when we're in the home page, which is index.html, this page, when we click the explore button, it's gonna push us across to the manual explore page. And then when we're in the explore page, it actually gives us a way to go back into the home page. 
So all we need to do is just press apply all and then click OK. And the assistant's now going to edit the code in the back end for us. And then it's going to restart the app. So this is going to refresh. There we go. And now the changes will be applied. So let's go ahead and click explore. And there we go. Now we're in the manual explore page. So how cool is that? So now from here to actually go through the rest of the design process, you would then build out all the individual pages, make the required changes to them, and then you can bring them into an app like Replit. Now for this video, I'm just using index.html, but there's a bunch of different languages that you can use to build different apps. In your case, using HTML might not be preferred, but as you can see, you can build beautiful and consistent designs, and then you can quickly bring them into an AI tool like Replit, which is very beginner friendly. And then once you're ready, you can actually deploy them to the web. So to deploy this website to the web, you would just go to this deploy button here and just set up your deployment. I'm just gonna keep all the default settings and I'm just gonna click deploy. And there we go. I actually couldn't show the app being deployed because it only took a few seconds. So that screen went too quickly. But then from here, this is the custom domain that now is accessible by anyone on the web. And here is my website. So let's go ahead and click explore. There we go. And now we're on the explore page and we can navigate through the website. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this AI pipeline for how to create beautiful, consistent designs for websites and apps that also give you nuanced control over different design elements. If you want to see more content like this, please drop a comment in the video. Otherwise, I would appreciate if you like or subscribe or even share this video with a friend. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy your AI website pipeline. See you next time.